We know that the Leader of the House is keen to see MPs return to the Chambers of Parliament. And indeed, the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority refused to fund appropriate maternity cover for myself on the basis that people needed to be able to speak in the Chamber. Yet today, in order to speak, I have had to abandon my baby proxy leave vote or else be reprimanded by the House authorities for speaking in the Chambers, making Parliament one of the few workplaces in this country where when a new mother comes in to do a Keep in Touch day, she is rebuked, not supported. Um, uh, uh, thank you, um, Madam Deputy Speaker. May I say what a pleasure it is to see the Honourable Lady in the Chamber, and may I congratulate her on the impeccable behaviour of her infant. Um, I'm, 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 mine are, of course, perfect in every possible way, but I'm not sure they would have been quiet for the whole time during a parliamentary uh, debate. So I congratulate her most, most warmly. There is no greater joy uh, than, than a, a, a new baby. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. We all recognise that this is a difficult issue for many and that there are strongly held views on all sides of this debate.